Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning devotional here at Manila Baptist Church. I do trust that by the grace of God, all of us are doing well. And as we exercise faith and trust in Him from day to day, please join me as I open in the word of prayer. Let us pray. Father, I commit to you, Lord God, this devotional. I pray for your blessings and the working of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Let us come to learn, to know, and to understand your will, your purpose, and your working. Father, we pray, may your word be a blessing to us all. In Jesus' name, O God. Amen. Today's devotional is entitled, Reaching Your Family. Reaching Your Family, taken from John chapter 7, verse 5. John 7, 5 says, Even his brothers did not believe in him. Even his brothers did not believe in him. With the title of our devotional, I mean we are to reach our family with the gospel message of Christ. What a noble desire. What a wonderful request of many of us praying for the salvation of our loved ones, praying for the salvation of our family members. And as we do pray, may we all be also uh, God's instrument to bring to them the gospel message. Now, let us not just pray, but also let us do bringing unto them the gospel message. It is noteworthy that neither James nor any of the other brothers of Jesus believed in him prior to his resurrection. In fact, at one point, they even came to take him home, thinking he had taken leave of his senses. In John chapter 7 verse 5 tells us, For even his brothers did not believe in him. Well, James, the half-brother of Jesus Christ, starts his New Testament letter by identifying himself as a servant of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is in James chapter 1 verse 1. And this is significant when you consider the fact that James had the distinction of being the half-brother of Jesus. We know Jesus had other brothers and sisters. Yet, it is interesting that James does not begin his letter by saying, James, the brother of the Lord, or even James, the half-brother of Jesus. Instead, he writes, James, the servant of Jesus. Here was Jesus who lived a flawless life. He lived a sinless life. He never lied or stole or lost his temper. He never even sinned inwardly. Yet, as Jesus himself said, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. Mark chapter 6 verse 14. That just goes to show that even living a perfect and sinless life won't necessarily convince someone. And all of us have fallen short at times in living out the witness we ought to leave. That is why, as Christians, we have to live carefully the manner we live our lives for Jesus, because we are His living witnesses. Our lives would speak of our relationship with Jesus, and people are looking, people are observing us, that even before we can speak the gospel, our lives, the actions we do, it's all already where God is speaking through that as a witness. The hardest people to reach are often those who are closest to us, especially in our own very own families, and that is true. Many amongst us are praying for the salvation of your parents, salvation of your loved ones, of your kings, of your brothers and sisters, of your children, because there are many amongst us, and in fact, the worst and difficult people to share the gospel with is our loved ones. Many of us were raised in a non-Christian homes. We know how difficult and hostile an environment that can be. And it took the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to finally reach his brothers. That is when they all believed. And it took the power of the gospel. The Apostle Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of God, Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. It is God's power that salvation 
can be shared through the gospel. And that same power is at work today in the lives of those who love as we, those who love us as we faithfully pray for them. Reaching our family, reaching our loved ones, what a noble desire. Let us continue to pray for that and let us continue to do that. For in the name of Jesus, it is our hope and joy and happiness to see them come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Good morning and God bless.